Today we're going to look at another kind of center for a triangle. This time we're looking at something called the in-center. You get the in-center when you draw in the angle bisectors for each of the angles of a triangle. Where they meet, they'll all three cross at a single point, that is your in-center. Sometimes you'll see a diagram of this with a, a, a circle inscribed inside the, the triangle, um, and the parts of the circle, these radii that go from the, the center and make a perpendicular to the side of the triangle, those are called the in radii. And each in radius is the same length. It's it's a, a, a radius of the circle. So you know all three of those have to be the same length. And that's a, a central property of the in center is that if you drop a perpendicular to each side, they're going to be the same length. All right, let's see if we can use that knowledge to solve a problem here. In this diagram, you can see we have uh, angle bisectors. Well, they're telling us they're angle bisectors um, here and here and here. So we know those angles are going to be cut uh, in half um, by those yellow lines. And then you can see they've drawn in the, the um, perpendiculars from that center, from that in center uh, to the sides of the triangle. And let's see what other information they've given us here. Let's see. So MQ is 12. So this right here is 12. That's one of these in radii. So you know that this is going to be 12 and this is going to be 12. Okay. And it says MJP, angle MJP. So MJP. So this whole thing is 42. And the measure of angle PLQ, PLQ is just this little half of this one is 18. OK. And then we're supposed to find PLN, that angle, uh, angle NKQ, and the length of NQ. Well, let's just start with the length of NQ. NQ is right here. It's one of these in radii. So we know that's going to be 12. We've already labeled that. So NQ is 12. Now let's look at the angles. PLN. PLN is this whole angle right here. And since these lines are angle bisectors, if this side is 18, then this side is 18. So the whole thing is going to be 36. So that's not too hard. So angle PLN is 36. OK. And then we want to find angle NKQ. So NKQ is this part right here. And I think the best way to do that is to find this whole angle of the triangle. I say that because we already have two angles in the triangle. We've got 36 here and 42 here. So we would take 180 minus, and 36 plus 42 is 78. So that is going to be 102 that's left over for this one. And if we split that in half, we get 51. So angle NKQ is 51 degrees. So that is a little bit of work with the in-center.